No one is going to buy those duochrome water-activated eyeliners. They have literally no pigment. They do, though. They're meant to be used as toppers or on deeper skin tones. It works great. Just not everything's for pale people. I don't advise using our funeral proof liners on your lips. However, our eyeshadow bases are a different story. Now, personally, I would just wait until our matte liquid lipsticks come out, as I'm still working on those. But if you are desperate for a super, super black liquid lipstick, you can just apply the base, and then I'm using our H1 brush here to kind of just go over the edges. All of our eyeshadow base formulas are approved to be used in the eye and lip area. In our funeral proof, some of them are only for the eye. I will be honest, though, these are not transfer proof. These are like a soft cream lip rather than a super matte one. From the time that these eyeshadow bases are added onto the mixing board, you can get them mixed up, applied, and blended out in less than 40 seconds. And I'm gonna show you. The Maddie and Ghostly right here, if you want a lot of product, the great part about this is that you can just kind of squeeze them out. And then I'm gonna add in a Colt, which is the purple. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. No cuts, no nothing. Let's get this blended together into a beautiful, more lavender shade. Look how easily they just blended together. Still going though, because I'm gonna make sure it's fully blended for you. And let's go ahead and bring it on over to my arm. And we're gonna swatch it here. And then I'm gonna instantly go in with my fingers and give it a little buff and blend out. Even taking some time to reposition myself, look at me. So anyways, mixed, applied, and buffed out in less than 40 seconds. That's how easy it is to make your own custom colors. Name this shade Next for the me. shades Accolade and Follower in our eyeshadow bases. So Follower is more of a teal shade. There's definitely a little bit more green in there. And then Accolade is like a hot pink. Let's see if we end up with a pretty purple. I have to say for as much green that is in Follower, it's actually making a really, really pretty purple. It definitely feels a little bit more on the pastel side. You know, it's not super dark and intense, but purple nonetheless. And that's always nice to save you from having to get another color. Because while this one does make purple here, we do also have our purple shade, Occult. It's darker, but you can still mix Let's your own. Let's reveal all the new Iridescent Ink eyeliners. This one here should look familiar. It is actually our Hallucinogen Hysteria, just ground up a little bit more. But I did go ahead and name it Busted, because it doesn't look quite the same when they're not in big flakes. So I don't want anyone getting confused. But that one is almost black. Kind of a red shift to it. This one here is called Solar Flare. The yellow one is Hyper Beam. This green one is called Troposphere. And the blue is named Borealis. These are all duochrome or multichrome or just generally iridescent. I'm gonna try to capture them here, but they are so much more beautiful in person. I'm having a bit of an ethical dilemma. And that's regarding these glitter gels. I try to only use glitter that isn't actual glitter. This time I had the lab make it with real glitter. And I get comments like this a lot, meaning that like the fake glitter isn't good either, I guess. But it is good because it's the only one that can be eye safe. These definitely can't be eye safe. But we used to carry real glitter gels like this for the body. And I'm debating, should we offer them again? I'm really just heavily debating it. They are so, this so pretty. This is what I was saying with saying not everything is made for pale people. But I've been accused of putting down people in order to market to another demographic. So I'll just put you all down. Because all products are made for different people. Like this blush, we didn't end up using it. Got sent back to the lab, but that pink worked on a pale tone, nobody else. The peach worked on a medium tone and not really anybody else. So it wasn't made for pale or dark. This brown dagger liner, if you were deeper toned, would completely just melt into your skin. If you're lighter or medium toned, this yellow or orange would just give jaundice. And the same with a lot of our neutrals. Some of those are given some funky undertones in some of those skin tones. Yes, the pink is named Lobotomy. Every so often we hit a different side of TikTok. That's just the brands. Like, this is Luminol. This is Asphyxiation. All of our blacks are called Obituary. This is Blood Spill. This is Blood Let. This is cryogenic. Our eyeshadow bases are literally called Eye Cultist, the shade specifically being Occult. This color here is called Arterial, like the embalming fluid. Speaking of embalming, our glosses are literally called embalming glosses. This is called Trocar, like the tool used in embalming. This is called Autopsy. This is Fever, you know, like the sickness yellow fever. This is Murderous. This is Cadaver. This is Dismember Mint, you know, like mint. This is Slabbed, like your mortuary slabbed. It's just the brand. It's dark. 